Is Couch Co-op dead? We're here to talk about it. So obviously being that we started this channel together, we're always playing co-op games together next to each other, not online. Right. So like online gaming took over the world. Obviously, what was that? PS PS2 had online. PS2. It wasn't big, but they had online. Right. PS3 was PS3 and when Xbox it, 360. Yeah, that's I remember, when it started. I remember me and you had PS3. And everyone else had Xbox. We yep. didn't have parties. Remember, you had to use like the live in-game, in-game chat. chat. <laughs> in-game chat, and, baby. And bro, that's when MW2. We were talking to kids in college, thirty-year-olds yeah. roasting them with our voice. We were like, what? 12, the high 13? voice. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. Fucking game is fucking. Shoot a gun, dog. Learn how to fucking shoot a gun. Fucking Ryan Shield. What else? Oh, Ryan Shield. I'm a pussy that used Ryan Shield. So I'm just sitting here though. Thinking how far it's come, right? PS4, PS5, like all the new systems, everybody plays like competitively online. Don't no one like no one goes, hey, come over, let's play a game like next to each other. It's like, hey, you're home, I'm home, right? Let's hop on a, a game and play online. Mm-hmm. So it led me, th- it led me to think like couch co-op is like dying, right? Like. The only game recently that I have heard about a lot, well, we played Overcooked. Right. Remember that? That's a great couch co-op game. Up to four players. Mm-hmm. You're sitting around. You're trying to cook, whatever. Like, you're trying to make the meals in time. Right. Um, but a game that I kept hearing was, like, it's take, It Takes Two, I think it's called. Mm-hmm. So that's, like, a couples-based game. It's, right. like, two people play together to, like, get through. It's, like, a Portal 2, essentially, on new gen. Okay. But other than that, uh, I mean, sports games are always couch co-op, right? right? You're always going to be able to play. Hey, you play that other team, I play this team. Yeah, I mean, as far as, like, co-op specific, I'm trying to think, and, like, I can't really... Unless we don't know, right? Unless, unless right. there are games I, out there that... could be games that... That we have no clue about, but it's crazy to me. Uh, we Oh, we just played Gang Beasts. Mm. That's a new game that I just discovered, which I know it's old, but right. that's a couch co-op you can play together, but... It's crazy to me thinking how nobody, not that no one cares, but there aren't games out there that like focus on couch co-op. PS2 had so many couch co-op games yeah, and not just separate game modes, like story driven co-op games. Right. You know, you're, you love Lord of the Rings. Those games are amazing, right? Two Towers was co-op. One of the best. Yeah. And, and Return of the King was co-op. Both mission story based co-op not just like an extra yeah. game mode. play the whole play through the whole game with the someone whole, right uh shrek 2 that was another entire game you play you could i think i don't know if it was two or four i think if you had the multi-tap you might be able to get four players right. but probably two players right um i'm trying to think about other games lego star wars this new skywalker saga has uh co-op it's terrible have you seen it no it's so I don't sure, know if, it doesn't hit the same no, as the old if, ones. So, obviously, you remember in the old ones, you could, like, you're in the same screen, and you're dragging. Like, if you move one way, you drag the other person. Right. The new one, um, so Force Awakens, which I didn't play, but I've seen footage of, they have it where if you're close like this, it'll, um, what's it called? It'll be in the same screen, but if you venture off, it'll split screen. So it'll split okay. screen down the center where, like, if you get really far, you don't drag me anymore. Okay. But you're, you're that's, that's further away, cool, which is though. really cool. Yeah. The Skywalker saga is permanently split screen. So we can be this close. I, I remember I played with my brother. Right. We were playing um, Phantom Menace. We started one, and um, we were playing against Darth Maul. Right. There's, a, there's obviously the big boss fight. Mm-hmm. We were so close because we're, we're fighting Darth Maul. There, you're not on the other side of the, the map. You're mm-hmm. literally next to me. The movement was making me so nauseous. I don't know if I just get, like, nauseous quickly. Right. But with him moving his camera, my camera moving, it was nauseating. Mm-hmm. And, and it's like, why can't you just share the screen into one screen? We're, right. we're right next to each other in just the game. Just like how it was before. <laughs> well, why are you changing that? And well, like, It's like, if it's not broke, don't, yeah, don't like, fix it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Dragging somebody off the map, 
that got so frustrating. Yeah. But okay, you fixed it in Force Awakens or whatever. You fix it in those like new Marvel games. Why are you? I don't know. That well, was just a pet peeve. A of mine. game, a game like Lego Star Wars too, where you know there's so much going on at right. once. It, it's kind of hard to have, like, like you're seeing split. the angle twice, right? And you're seeing it where. We're sitting next to each other watching it. The TV is going fucking crazy. Yeah. It's like, dude, I, I, I'm like having a seizure. Like, right. so we're, like when you have that full picture of both of you, it, it's, it's just perfect. so much more appealing to right. the eye. Well, and you can see what's going on. Right. Like when my brother was fighting Darth Maul from, I think he was on the right, left side of the screen fighting right. I was on the right side of the screen fighting left. You'd see Darth Maul twice. Yeah. It was like It was like messing with me. I'm like, wait a minute. And then I started looking in his camera, and I saw Darth... Like, it was throwing me off. Mm -hmm. And it just led me to really realize they don't care about couch co-op anymore. Yeah. And and thinking, okay, a game like Shrek, where you're together, like, why, why is that not a focus anymore? Is it because the online took over? Like, do you think they're like, screw it, we don't need to focus on that anymore because of the games? Well, think about it. Gaming, you know, back in that PS2 era was, hey, you want to come over and play this game? Right. Now it's, hey, hop on. Let's play online. Right. And and I guess because online was such a brand new thing in that PS2 era, <clears throat> like it hit, but I think it was it was a small bandwidth. And only certain games are online. They had that like little symbol on, mm-hmm. the, on the case where yeah. it's like, you can play online. Right. But... I don't even know if I played online. Did you need like an Ethernet thing to plug into that? You needed an Ethernet cable. Um, I remember I think up to... I played Battlefront 2 online, but that was like rare. I mainly played just Galactic... Con- like yeah. games where you could have bots or whatever. I'm trying to think if I played PS2 games online. Like, obviously you could, but yeah. I don't really remember like one game that wasn't specifically. The focus. Like that wasn't the right. focus. And it's it's... It's crazy to me that in hopes of seeing the new generation, like, games, like, you've seen so many cool games that they're coming out with. They're not... Uh, will they focus on couch play? Will they bring it back? Yeah. Because I feel like that aspect of gaming, you don't get the same experience where you're sitting at home in a voice party and I'm sitting here when we're... we're you know, you're only 10 minutes a, away a, from me. It's a completely different experience. When you when we're sitting here playing Street 2 together, yeah. We're we're going off the energy, we're laughing, we're right. like running plays. I'm speaking to you like right. real time. I'm looking at you on on a, on a mic. You don't see me. You don't mm-hmm. see my reaction. We obviously it's still fun. It's not going to not be fun, but it's so different sitting next to each other playing a game as opposed to sitting online. Right. I love the fact that online has grown because, I mean, we have kids that are in California that we could play with. Right. Obviously, if it was couch co-op, <laughs> you're never playing with them, which is really cool. But I think the next step for me, at least to like, like couch co-op, bring it back. We need it back, mm-hmm. I think. Right. Personally, I like to play video games with somebody sitting next to me. I just find it more fun to to share the experience together even if it's a single player game switching off right i was thinking about the other day i'm like imagine if they made it where it's like facetime but video games so like you know everyone in the twitch stream like it's green screen where like you could see them on playing and then the game is there Mm -hmm. make it so whoever's in the party you'd have the option to to be seen that's interesting so like it's 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 like you're seeing them there, right. so you still get the same experience as like we're sitting here talking. Right. You see them where you can turn it on or off; it's an option. But so you could like pretty much have them like in the corner of your screen in the game, you're... and and that's pretty. It'd be cool. a little weird, maybe, because you'd be watching the game and you'd be like, maybe you'd be it'd be too distracting. Right. But my thought process was like, all right, they're trying to get rid of couch co-op. Like right. at this point, there's not that many games that I know of that you have couch co-op. So make it where it's it's we still have the voice party, but that interaction, that personal interaction, like you know me, I'm annoying. I Facetime people. I don't call them, right? Or I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I don't even text people that often. I Facetime you because I want to see you. I want that interaction. So with them trying to take that out of gaming, 
my only thought process was like how to add it back, make it like a like a Zoom video game session. I mean, as soon as you brought this idea up, I kind of just immediately thought of like how can they get more money out of <laughs> out of people. So I mean, I'm I'm sure this is a thing already, but like play uh, a company like Sony, like for the PS5. Buy the PS5 camera. Webcam, yeah. You, you, can, you can see your friends, and you can play games of with course. your friends. Well, do you remember the PSI? Yeah. So there was a cool game I had called Aquatopia. Mm-hmm. I always loved I had a fish tank. I don't know. you. Yeah, you remember my fish tank, I think. Yeah. So I had a fish tank. I, I took care of it for fucking, you know, five years until I, I, I put a brand new fish in. Mm-hmm. Like, I added another. It was like a clown loach or a clown roach or something like that, and it had the ick there was like a scale that was discolored and it spread a disease and wiped out my old fish tank. Anyway, <laughs> RIP. Anyway, I had this game called Aquatopia. So I was always fascinated with like having a fish tank and my parents were like, look, you like, you're all your fish are done. Like just now's the right time. Give it I, up. I was getting, yeah. I was, getting, <laughs> <laughs> I was getting into high school and it was like, I don't have the time to take care of it anymore right. or the energy. Um, so I got the game Aquatopia. And now what it was, was, the whole TV was a fish tank, but you set up the PSI, and it was a view from the fish tank out. So the PSI was a webcam, and in the back of the Aquatopia, you'd see me, like, looking into the fish tank. <laughs> so, 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 like, it'd be really cool. Like, you'd go like this, and you'd see, like, my reflection in the fish tank. So then, wait, wait, it gets better. It gets better. So the game, you would take, you would take, uh, this is extremely off topic, but this is great. You'd take your fingers and pinch like this at the top of the PSI, and it would sprinkle in food, <laughs> and you'd feed the fish. So it was like a virtual fish tank. Uh-huh. It was fucking awesome. Like, again, they sold the PSI, right? That was right. like a. I had this game, Eye of Judgment. Did you play that game? Oh my god, what a throwback! I'm gonna show footage of it because it was like, um, it's like Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh, that kind of style where you have cards with uh, characters but you put it down in front of the psi it would scan the card and it would create a hologram on the screen and your your cards would fight right so like your your monsters would fight each other mm-hmm. it was really cool so <laughs> i was thinking of uh what's a name from finding nemo tabbing, tabbing on the, on the glass. wake up whatever she's screaming at nemo to he's playing dead <laughs> Immediately thought of just you just tapping on the PSI. (laughs) But to get back on topic, that could be an incentive, right? Like for me, I'd buy the webcam because I'd want to see my friends. Right. Or people will nowadays, some of them FaceTime and play. Right. But it's like, imagine being able to do that just on the PS5. I'm pretty sure they have like cameras for these new gen systems obviously that i think the vr uses i don't yeah, know if it uses that's like a, probably what it's for i don't but, know if it necessarily uses like i don't know if it's a webcam or it's right. just like it sensors. i don't, I don't the, think i don't think you can use it for the purposes that we're talking about right now right. but just brain would be cool here. if you did i just uh you know obviously the reason we're, we're talking about this is just because we're best friends we play video games together yeah we don't want to we don't want i don't want you sitting at home when you're here and free I want to sit, we want to sit and play a game together, experience it together. Right. It's bothering me to think the memories that kids are sharing today are nothing like what we've shared. Like, them talking to their friends online after school, it, it's not the same social interaction of, right. like you said, hey, is Vinny free to play today? Can he come over after school? Right. You know, you, you get a pickup note. You bring it into school. You come <laughs> over. Like, we play the game together. Like, we're right. playing SmackDown vs. Raw. You're sitting next to me. I'm going, yeah, bitch. I just fucking tko You know, like, you know, it's it's different. Yeah. You're like, you know, I'm fucking RKO you out of nowhere. Like, right. it's not like that anymore. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's you screaming into a microphone. And all you hear is, <laughs> you know, when it gets, like, distorted because you're yelling. Yeah. It's, it's funny because I remember, I think, when we were in middle school, um, I think... I forget which Call of Duty it was, but I don't know if you remember Seth. Of course. Shout out Seth. Um, that kid used to call my house like every day after really? school. And like he would pick up and like someone in my family would pick up and he'd be like, is Vinny free? Uh, I want to play video games with him. And we'd play like 
think it, I, I forget which Call of Duty was popping at the time, but like probably World at War, maybe. Yeah, something like that. But we would play every day, and after school every day, this kid would call, and my mom like she'd get annoyed. <laughs> I know your she, mom. She got <laughs> she got like annoyed at first, but like it got to the point where like she, he would call and she would just like hand me the phone. Like, oh, she knew. She knew. Yeah, she knew. So uh, <laughs> another game I just thought of just because you said that, uh, zombies. It's funny you even mentioned that because like. I told you John was over my house the other day and yeah. we were trying to play. I think I downloaded like Black Ops 3 or 4 or something like that. Okay. And I knew one of them had like Darice on it. So, you know, we were, I downloaded the game, which already takes <laughs> 20 days, years. hours. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about it. So then you got to download the game. Then yep. you got to find the map pack. Yep. That the game, oh yeah, <laughs> annihilation I, or whatever it is. I, I wasn't yeah. sure if I even had the map pack that Darius was in, so I had to look up the the map pack. They packs. put those old maps on the new new games too. Yeah. Oh wow, because I only knew Black Ops. They came out that like yeah. resurrection pack. Right. It was all of the old five. Yeah, they had. I I think Darius. They're the Darius on that game's a little bit different, but it's pretty much pretty much the same thing. Oh okay. But I mean, between like finding out which map pack the map was in and then downloading both it's just because pain in the butt yeah and and you google it and try yeah. and see and then it's the wrong thing it's like i gotta i gotta do so much work just to play <laughs> a game of zombies like <laughs> it's ridiculous yeah man it's just it, it, it's crazy to think about how how rev like how different it is yeah you know when i bought a game most of the time whenever i'd go to buy a game i would look for couch co-op because mm-hmm. i my older brother we play video games together. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I have a bunch of single-player games, but there was always that aspect. You look in the back, remember how small it is on the PS2? You see one or two players. Mm-hmm. I'd always look for that two-player option because I'd always want to play games with somebody. And like I said, the only games that I could think of now that were like based for couch co-op, Overcooked, which, again, that was 2018, I want to say. Right. Don't hold me to it, but... And it takes two. We, we, I remember before we started this channel, we sat down after we beat Overcooked and we looked up local couch co-op games and there was a list of 10, but they were like terrible. Mm -hmm. Like we were looking for specific games and it's just not a thing anymore. Yeah. They, they killed it. Even like, like we said, besides sports games. And now again, so I guess the last point I want to ask you, I want your opinion. Is it money? Do you think they're? Do you think they they eliminated couch co-op because we can't make money off it? Or do you think it? You think it's truly like gamers? Like they'd rather competitively face someone they don't know, shit talk them, and you know still play with your friends if you're running duos in like Fortnite, whatever. Right. But like their main focus now is like I want to be competitive. Like did that competitive aspect of gaming kill couch co-op? Right. I honestly, I I agree. I don't think, I I don't think, you know, companies are, they don't want to put it in the game because they know how much people enjoy that. It's just the way gaming is going now with all this online co-op DLC uh, stuff. It's just. It just gets forgotten. Right. It's it's not like malicious intent. Like, they're not purposely right. leaving it out to, like, hey, go online because we can make money off the skins right. or whatever. I think it's more so, like you said, it, it's just not – they don't want to spend the time to focus on it because right. it's not being used anymore. Mm-hmm. And, again, that leads me to believe, like, is it our fault? Like, is it is it our gamers' fault that they're taking – like, a lot of people don't give a shit about couch co-op. Right. And – Again, all you have are sports that are couch co-op nowadays mm-hmm. that are like guaranteed. A lot of people don't care. Yeah. And again, is that is it our fault that they're not making them anymore or who knows? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like they used to release a lot of games that there there was no choice. You had to play co-op. That was through, the focus through the game. Yeah. And now that's just like not really a thing. Right. Uh, and again, la- like last driving point look at lord of the rings they could have easily picked one character you play through that game with one character Mm -hmm. instead you had how many characters to choose from i think it was like eight i mean you had gandalf you had aragon you had you had everybody and the option to play with two people Mm -hmm. could you play with more than two i don't think so 
It wasn't four, right? I think it was only it, two. I think it might was only two. But the point is, they could have easily said, look, we're going to tell this story from the eyes of Aragon. That's you play us. Right. It wasn't like that. You know what I mean? Like, that era was people are going to buy this game and share it. Mm-hmm. Because they probably thought of it as, like, if he comes over his house and he loves it, he'll buy it. Right. And then, you know, it just stemmed from there where they that couch co-op was like a bonus. And mm-hmm. now it's just gone. And it's just sad to see. In the past. It's sad. It really is. You've heard our thoughts on the topic. Now we want to hear yours. You agree with this whole co-op revelation we got going on here? Or <laughs> do you think gaming is going in the right direction with this online bullshit? <laughs> You know, 20, 2022 era of gaming that's just not, it doesn't hit the same. Yeah, just, just, hit just let same. us know your thoughts. Do you want Couch Co op brought back? Do you not really care? And also, we were going to say if you guys like this style of video, write down some topics for discussion because we're all for it. If you want to hear how we think about it, we're, we're going to start to voice our opinions. I feel like we have to at this point. So. Yeah, man. I got to get people mad. <laughs> We're ending on that. (laughs) We're ending on that. (laughs) See you guys.